What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video. But before I tell you what I'm unboxing, let me give you a little bit of uh, feedback on the last video that I uploaded. Now yes, I'm aware there was a lot of static during the bits and pieces of the concert. That was mainly because of what I was recording on, which was my Galaxy S6. Now, I don't know whether it was because I had my charging case on, I don't know whether it was because it was the speak, because the sound was too loud on the phone. And for that, I want to apologize. But that little issue with the recording was a big factor regarding me making the decision as far as what I'm going to be doing. Now, I'm upgrading my phone, if you couldn't tell by the title. Right now, I'm still using the Galaxy S6, and I was choosing between getting the Galaxy S9 and going, or going iPhone 8 Plus. That was mainly because both phones with my carrier are the same price. It was a little tough deciding between the two phones, but the influences were there. The Galaxy S9, because I'm used to using the, using Android. iPhone 8 Plus was, main, was partly because I was considering going iPhone, and my girlfriend was suggesting that I join the Apple Slaves. I'm not trashing anybody that uses an Apple phone, it's just I'm used to using Galaxy, I'm used to using Android. Now, I decide, the reason why I'm deciding to go with the phone I'm going with, it was comparing the Galaxy S9 and the newer iPhones that just came out, which was the, uh, the, X, the XS, the XS Max, and the XR. Granted, the XR is the cheaper of the three, but I'd still be going cheaper going with the Galaxy S9 because my carrier is offering that phone for about $600 versus the iPhones that are coming out which are about a thousand between $700 and $1,000 depending on the phone you get so the reason why I'm going Galaxy S9, and that's mainly influenced by price. Also, the specs between the Galaxy S9 and the newer iPhones are practically the same. There's literally nothing new with the iPhone except for maybe a few features that honestly don't really appeal too much to me. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit with the unboxing. Right now, I'm on my way to go pick up my girlfriend and go to Metro PCS and switch phones over. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so four stores later, finally got the phone. I underestimated how popular this phone is. It took me a lot longer than I, than I wanted it to, but I finally got the phone. I don't know what else to say other than that. It's four fucking stores. Just wait, just killed like a majority of my time after my shift. So for the part you've all been waiting for, the unboxing. Right over here, the Galaxy S9. Now, just as a heads up, I've already sort of pre-opened this, mainly because when I was getting all my information from my S6 transferred to the S9, it, it had to be out beforehand. Nonetheless, we still have the unboxing. We can still do the unboxing. You guys are going to still see what I got with everything. Nothing major has changed other than the fact that it's got a new charging cable. I don't know if you can really tell the difference between the original USB. Let the focus, focus, focus. That's the new charging piece. It's still USB, but it's like a different type of USB. I think it's type C, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. I might be. But anyway, let's get to the unboxing itself. I originally bought the Galaxy S6, had to have been maybe about three years ago. And recently, I think it was about maybe about not even a month ago, I bought myself a charging case for it. Not thinking I was going to get an upgrade on my phone. But anyway. 
I got the upgrade. Now I gotta look into getting a new charging case for the S9. So let's get into the unboxing. So far I got the S6 there for by, for comparison, but I will get to comparing the two phones in just a second. Alright, so here we go. We have the Galaxy S9 over here. Very nice display, very nice box. Alright, so what we have? Galaxy S9 box. Let's see what we got inside. Now with Metro PCS and I guess every other carrier, they have this very fancy setup where you got the sleeve. Now we got the Samsung box. Again, as I said, already pre-opened. What we got here, we got the SIM card uh, piece. I don't even remember what the hell they call it. We got the instruction manuals and whatnot right over here. Quick start guide, terms and conditions, and health information. Because apparently cell phones cause cancer. Go figure. But then again, everything causes cancer. And what we got on the inside is the self. As you can tell, already turned on, already set up and all my, most of my information has been already transferred over. Very nice, very sleek. Love the curved screen. I've already gotten my fingerprint thing set up and my passcode, and all in all, it's got pretty good, uh, it, moves, it moves very smoothly, that's what I'm trying to get at. Still got access to my messages and whatnot. All in all, thick phone. Now, let's get on to the inside of the box. We've got, obviously, it came with the charging cable. We've got a very nice tethered, well not tethered, but uh, braided headphones. Look like pretty good quality, AKG brand headphones. I actually wouldn't mind checking. Now, one of the things I thought was interesting was the change in, right, those are just extra rubber, rubber ear pieces. We still got the charging, the fast charging uh, brick. And from what I remember with the S6, it was a very good, very quick charge, maybe not even an hour. And then you got this special adapter for uh, the U the new USB setup. It's a USB connector, so we just plug this piece into a USB, tiny little piece, the new uh, charging piece for the Galaxy S9. And I think that would be everything in that box. Now to compare it to the S6, here's the S6. I ended up switching phones out because, again, the S6 for me was starting to get slower. And not that it wasn't usable and everything, but it was just getting to the point where I knew it was going to be time soon. But again, the fast charging on this one still works. But the comparison between the two phones is pretty much there. I mean, again, the S9 is pretty much all screen. You got the uh, curved screen edge, and you can actually make this... make like watching videos on this a lot wider and I will show you uh, the picture compa the better pictures and everything on this one especially video and it's also got the slow-mo feature which I'll probably use somewhere down the road so guys that was the Galaxy S9 I mentioned earlier in the video what my thought was as far as why I wanted to get the S9 because again there was nothing really wrong with my S6 aside from it starting to slow down and the thing is, it was a three-year-old phone, I mean, it's, it was time for an upgrade. I mean, I'm not necessarily one of those people that will buy, like, the newest, newest phone every single year it comes out. I will use the one I have until it's just basically, like, to the point where it's, like, not really usable. And again, the S6 is still usable, and I'll still keep it as a backup. In all seriousness, I want to actually test out the S6. So if you guys want to see me review the Galaxy S9... Now, granted, it's been out for a while, and I'm sure there have been a dozen or so other YouTubers that have been reviewing it. I'll gladly review it myself, just so you can get my opinion on it. And to top it all off, I'm still fiddling with it, I'm still getting used to it, and so far, from what I've seen as far as the pictures and the video, pictures are freaking crisp and clean and clear. You can see just about every single detail, and I'm loving it so far with that. Anyway... I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, if you want to see me do a review on the Galaxy S9, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Hey, if you even enjoy my content, check out my other videos and feel free to subscribe. I'm putting new content out almost every week and I will see you guys in the next video.